In this short session, we'll introduce the Geomatics Engineering Education at SAIT and the career options. First, we'll explain what Geomatics is, why would you choose this field, how to apply, what are the job opportunities, then we'll take you on a virtual tour in some of our labs, and finally, time for Q&A. I'll start by the why question. Why Geomatics? It's only two years of study, you get hands-on learning, you get job right away. Uh, in fact, all the students I talked to last year got job offers before they even finished the program. Uh, we actually have students with higher degrees, master and PhDs, who choose to come and study here uh, to get a job. And you get the chance to work in an office or in a field using conventional or state-of-the-art technologies. Geomatics, by definition, has three categories. First, data collection uh, using conventional or modern sensors such as GPS, laser scanners, or drones. The second area um, is about data processing. Lastly, is to create 3D models or plans or even modeling the real world in geographic information systems or GIS. As geomatics professional, you could work in oil and gas, construction industry, whether it's buildings, bridges, roads, hydroelectric facilities or transmission lines. You could also be working in defining legal boundaries or property boundaries. Uh, the automotive industry uses also geomatics to determine position and detect surroundings. Um, you can also work in environmental assessment and analyzing the interaction between man-made projects and the environment. And basically, any project that uses or needs coordinates can use geomatics professionals. Talking about data collection, you're going to learn about using traditional equipment to measure laser distances, angles for basic 2D or even 3D mapping. You can also learn about GPS, same as the one you have in your cell phone, but with much higher precision and accuracy. And this can be handheld, mounted on vehicles or even planes and drones. You'll also learn about and use laser scanners, same as the laser pointer that many teachers use, but it spins very fast and collects millions of points in few seconds. We also learn about planning for data collection by planes, drones, or even obtaining data from Earth observation satellites. For data processing, you will learn about errors, error analysis and removal, adjustment and optimization. Think of a curve fitting or a regression analysis as a simple example of adjustment and optimization, but you'll apply this to data collected in geomatics. You'll learn the math first, than the use of a software. This area is not only important for geomatics, but is fundamental in other areas like artificial intelligence and machine learning. For photos taken by a plane or a drone, you'll learn about the subject of photogrammetry, which is similar to Computer Vision 101. You'll learn the concept of creating 3D points from the data. Similarly, from satellites, you'll learn how to derive information about elevation and land types. In all of these, you'll learn about the theoretical background and the use of software. We all know that the Earth is circular or ellipsoidal in shape. You'll learn about the deviation from this perfect shape and the mean sea level also representing the Earth on a paper or a computer screen. Since you cannot have a computer screen rounded similar to the shape of the Earth, you'll need to find a median to project the Earth information onto. You'll learn about this subject, which is called map projections. For data presentation and final products to be delivered to the client, you'll learn about drafting in CAD or AutoCAD and creating 3D models or even 2D plans. You will also learn about the subject of geographic information systems or GIS and how to model the world and categorize it into themes to be able to run automated analytics, data mining, and find the relations and correlations between different phenomena. That was a brief introduction to geomatics in a nutshell. Coming to say it, campus life is very vibrant with over 60 clubs, 
variety of food options, sports and recreation, many support services for students. You'll find everything you need, whether looking for assistance or trying to relax or have fun. Among all the clubs, I recommend you to join the GNT Students Club. That's where companies come to sit and try to meet with you uh, when they look for geomatics professionals to hire. Sometimes they invite all students to meet with industry reps in local restaurants and pubs. Uh, you will have a good chance to get a job before you graduate. Um, also, many students get summer jobs between year one and year two during these events. Um, another interesting club just started last year is called the Geo Int Club. Uh, there you will learn about the Raspberry Pi, how to attach sensors to it and do some programming. Uh, example projects include creating GPS tracking system, virtual augmented reality, robotics, autonomous positioning. These are, in fact, geomatics applications, but they also tie to the world of AI. We are a group of passionate and dedicated instructors. We have graduates from the University of Calgary, the Ohio State University, Simon Fraser University. We have two PhDs, an MSc, three professional engineers registered in the province of Alberta. And all of us have uh, tons of industrial experience in all geomatics engineering areas. We also have two drone pilots certified by Transport Canada and one flight reviewer. For admission, you need to have one in each of these categories math, English language art, science, or physics. You can also apply with anticipated marks and later you will be asked to upload your formal transcript once you get it. We achieved and maintain national and international accreditation. That means that you're recognized anywhere in Canada and anywhere in these countries. When you finish the geomatics education here at SIT uh, and you don't feel like you want to work right away uh, but you want to study more, you can take advantage of the transfer options to the University of Calgary, uh, University of New Brunswick, BCIT in British Columbia, or even SIT's own Bachelor of Applied Technologies in GIS. And our program negotiated some deals on your behalf to get you credit uh, from the education that you obtained here at SIT. Think of that as another way to join some of the top universities. And I've seen many students who took advantage of that through the years. In order to apply or to get more information, you need to remember two words. One is geomatics, the other one is SIT. Type them in in any browser. Click on the first link. Read more about our program. Get to know the requirements for admission. Learn about the courses that we offer. Learn about the cost of education, year one and year two. And to apply, click apply now. We'll take you to a different page click apply through apply Alberta and there's a video to walk you through the application process. After applying, um, you go click on the next steps and read what you need to do. Uh, if you have more questions, you can uh, send um, an email to our admin or our academic chair uh, and they'll be happy to answer any of your questions. I want to end up with this slide. Remember, it's only two years of study, but you get transfer options if you want to study more. You'll learn some theory and lots of hands-on, whether equipment, sensors, software. Employers come to our program to hire graduates, and there is no shortage of jobs. You get a chance to work in an office or in the field, and you can switch jobs later easily if you change your mind. Most of the photos and videos in this presentation were obtained from class activities, but uh, these are the credits for the online ones. 
thanks for joining us today and if you have questions we'll try to answer them uh, in this session but if we can't uh, feel free to connect with our admin at SAIT or our academic chair their contact information is here and also it's uh, their contact information is posted uh, on uh, our website